Ryan, another week of women's football, this time away from league action, and we'll be playing in the FA Women's National League Cup. Before we get into that match, I thought we'd talk a bit about the Rugby Borough match. Any extra additions, any extra reflections from that match that you think needed that were needed after the game? Not really. I think a similar scenario, watch the game back. Um, similar sort of reflections from what we said on Sunday. Um, we're in the game for large spells of it and just had a bit of lapse in concentration for a 10 minute spell and we've just got to get better in games at making sure we concentrate for 90 minutes and cut out little, little errors and mistakes so and attacking created lots of uh, opportunities against a very good side so yeah lots of positives to take still although the result doesn't reflect that um, we, are, we are trying to focus on the positives this week and um, like you say try and move forward and start getting some positive results on the board one, may, one way to move forward, obviously, would be the fact that we're in the League Cup this week. Um, that'll give you a chance to sort of speak to the players, just park the league for a minute. What has the conversations been with the, both your staff and also the players so far going into this weekend? I think it's really positive. Um, the girls are still positive and they know they need to get better in certain spells and games in certain areas on the pitch. Um, and we know as staff that there's areas we need to improve on and maybe shake up the team slightly and look at areas we're getting exploited in. If we look, we're conceding far too many goals. That That's not, that's obvious. Um, and probably conceding in wide areas, from wide areas too much. So, yeah, we're going to try and, like say, sh- shut up shop a bit in those areas and maybe shake up a few players and put players in different positions. Um, just try and prevent that from happening. Obviously, a player availability hasn't been ideal at all in the start of the season we've had players missing every week um, looking at this weekend we've got the majority of players available so one or two still not available due to work commitments but on a whole we're going there with, um, with going to Cardiff with a very strong team this weekend looking at the team and obviously you're quite confident in how strong it is this weekend it's Cardiff this weekend in the League Cup away from home once again last year we played Cardiff at home park and it was a very close match managed to get ourselves the win is there anything you're taking from that game last season or any any sort of performance, any sort of reaction that they had and you're looking to implement it into the side this week? I think obviously last year you can take you can take bits out of the game, but obviously they've signed new players, we've got new players in, so it's it's a different game. Um if we look at the start of the season for us and them, it's very similar. We've played similar teams, we've got three points on the board, they've got two, so um yeah, I expect another difficult, close game. Um they're very physical and robust um, side. I think if we looked at the home park game, could have we won a little bit more last season, probably, um, in the chances we created. So, But like I've just alluded to, they have strengthened as well. So it, it's another challenge, um, but a challenge we're looking forward to. And one, I believe that we can continue the run in the cup. We had a good run in the cup last year. Obviously, we've had a positive start beating Exeter um, to progress into this round. So... Like you say, hopefully we can get the result on Sunday and continue a bit of uh, momentum in the League Cup and then take that positivity into the league moving forward. Not only has their team changed on the pitch as well, but their staff off the pitch has changed as well. Are you looking at that and is it sort of a, a grey area for you now, not knowing the new management and seeing like the new style of play? Or are you kind of confident that you'll know how they're going to turn up this weekend? Yeah, 100%. Obviously Gemma's come in as the new manager. She's got experience um, managing Blackburn in the Championship, so she's going to bring a wealth of knowledge and probably a different challenge and strategy f- to what the previous management set so yeah obviously we haven't had a chance to see that they haven't played since she's came in so um, it's a little bit of an unknown um, but like you say we do know a lot about the players and what they bring to Cardiff so yeah we just have to try and evaluate we've got to focus on ourselves I think we cause most team's problems this season in games um, going forward and like you say if we can shut up shop a little bit at the back um, then I think we can get a positive result but like you say I think it's a new challenge and one we're looking forward to Focusing back on ourselves finally Taya and Mia are two of the players coming back this weekend they've just been away with England under 17s looking at them too and having them come back in the squad is there a part of you that's looking at them and thinking oh they could implement something from, from that squad there and from that sort of well level of professionalism that they would have been exposed to in the England setup? Yeah, so obviously we know the strengths both players bring to the team. Um, Taya's been a big part from the start of the season. I think she played in every game bar last weekend because obviously she was away. Um, been really pleased with how she started the season. She brings a bit more aggression, a um, bit more attitude and um, she's very technically good on the ball as well. So 
probably miss that a little bit on Sunday in the midfield. Um, and then Mia is an exciting talent. Um, expect her to go and do big things. Might be playing her slightly in a different role this weekend um, and utilising her strengths both in and out of possession. Um, so, yeah, obviously they bring added quality to the squad um, and we expect them both to be heavily involved this weekend. Um, but like you say, I think we try and make the environment as professional as possible for the girls and um, hopefully they've seen similar traits at England to what we try and provide here but obviously at a different scale there they were there for eight days obviously we get we get a bit, bit parts um small small contact time but yeah hopefully like you say they they can bring that a bit of confidence from being selected obviously Taya made a debut as well which is fantastic for her um and hopefully that breathes a bit of confidence into her, her performance on Sunday well best of luck for the weekend Ryan cheers Jake